aware of an instrument out there that's, that's say, more accurate. If Kevin Roberts is a criminalist with the Breath and Alcohol Unit at the New Hampshire State Police Forensic Lab. He performs tests statewide on the Intoxilizer 9000. With every single subject test, we're testing a known concentration, or we getting the expected result. Using a dry ethanol gas with a concentration of alcohol at 0.2, which is well above the legal limit of 0.08, Roberts runs an automated calibration check. So here we have a 0 0.198. Because science is not perfect, Robert says they allow for a 5% deviation, and after being tested five times overall, this Intoxilizer 9000 is working properly. Then it is deemed calibrated and can be used for subject testing. Oh, I'm very confident in the system. We have a, a very robust system of um, ensuring that the instruments are working properly. Melissa Staples is the director of the New Hampshire State Police Forensic Lab. If there was a problem with breathalyzers similar to Massachusetts, her office would be responsible. Staples says there are 110 Intoxilizer 9000 machines in police departments across New Hampshire. She says the machines are tested every six months and the police officers who operate the machines are recertified every year. These machines machines are different than what Massachusetts uses and they have been in service since 2019. She says the quality assurance procedures have been in place for a long time, but she admits the issue in mass where a court ruled machines were not calibrated properly caught her attention. Well, of course, the first reaction is what happened <laughs> and could it happen here? Uh, and so you look into a little bit more about what was the actual decision is it something that could affect New Hampshire and uh, in reviewing some of that information I don't see any any correlation to how we operate our breath unit. These breathalyzer machines are not in the back of police cruisers. They are located at the police departments and the state police forensic lab director says operating procedures here are up to international standards.